over one and a half knockdown. Gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated all action world rank contender, introducing Frank the Ghost Martin. And his opponent across the ring. The defending world champion fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with multicolored trim, hailing from Baltimore, Maryland. He weighed in at his trim and ready 133 and one half pounds. He is also undefeated in his tremendous campaign in the ring with a record of 29 wins, no losses, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the young star of boxing and popular pound for pound great. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard hitting and renowned five time three weight division world champion and the current undefeated reigning and defending WBA lightweight champion of the world, introducing Gervonta Once again, a referee in charge, Harvey Doc, now to give instructions. Okay, boxers, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Good luck. Harvey Doc will be the referee for our main event, scheduled for 12 rounds for Javante Davis's 135-pound belt. It's a battle of undefeated fighters as. Davis returns after a career-long 14-month layoff. He says he returns a changed man, more focused on his family, more focused on his career, and now focused on Frank the Ghost Martin. The bell and round one, and Davis having a little fun with the whole ghost nickname. A part of the Ghostbusters theme is team has t-shirts with who you gonna call well martin says he's gonna spook the entire division and put it on notice by recording the upset here tonight yeah and if you're martin you definitely want to start putting those rounds together early on we know that uh, davis is a slow starter but then we, we we've been talking about moral you and i that, yep. that perhaps for, the, and for this fight in it's particular davis is not a slow start, best. start it's deliberate start it's strategic yeah. patience and for frank martin of course Here's a guy who has some of the best footwork you will ever see, Joe, who's good at using the jab, the counter. It's an amazing athlete, was an all-state wrestler, a football player, came to the sport of boxing relatively late, but had a standout career and now working under the tutelage of Derek James. He is primed here tonight. I'm a big fan of Frank Martin's as well as, you know, Tank Davis, who isn't. But Frank Martin is an exceptional athlete, and he could pose a lot of problems tonight. You want to stick and move with those combinations known for great counter punching as well. And for Davis, of course, it's all about low output, high accuracy, and just a savant when it comes to processing information. And in watching tape, we, we talk about how he's able to exploit repetitive processes by his opponents. We saw what he did in what he called the best knockout of his career as he took advantage of Leo Santa Cruz going to the well once too often with the right hand and eating a left uppercut for the 2020 knockout of the year but here very much typical of a Gervonta Tank Davis fight on his back foot just seeing what Martin has to offer Martin trying to establish the jab and again both of them are self-pause absolutely and Martin is a really good one just like Tank and so far he's the only one who's been landing so far with jabs yeah. there's a jab with, from Tank but Martin's been landing the left hand of the body and a straight left hand. He's uh, ahead in this round so far. Martin averages about 48 punches around. Under a minute left here in the first. High guard of Tank Davis. Very smart pressure. Yeah, both and fighters really alert right now. Hands were low and then explosive. The way that he's able to pull that trigger, his... His punch delivery system, second to none, but Martin putting the pressure on Davis, sticking out that lead hand. You yeah, saw how nice Martin nice got out left. of that corner when he got trapped in the corner oh, his by Tank. footwork is amazing. He got under and around and ended up picking Tank up on his shoulders. There's the one-two from the southpaw trying to split the high guard of Tank Davis. Under 20 seconds left in the opening round. Nice, beautiful triple jab right there by, by Martin. Continue to circle him and then with Martin you just don't know when he's gonna throw especially that left hand He's so quick with it got a good body shot by Frank Martin so as expected Martin 
Taking the opening hey. round and landing 11 punches compared to three, four Davis, and we've seen. Take your deep breath. How you feeling? Cool. He's almost going to come eventually, right? But that's what defense comes into play. We'll see something in play. All right, here we go. We got a little replay of Martin. There's that good straight left hand off the jab. That was one of the punches that he used. And that's the one we're going to show you. Although Martin landed quite several uh, left hands to the body as well. Both very proficient at pull counters as well as Martin immediately goes on the attack. Sneaks a shot into the body of Tank Davis. Yeah, both fighters really relaxed, really alert, locking eyes. I mean, just both of them waiting for one or the other to make a mistake, really. Tank putting on really good pressure right now. Even though he's not throwing anything, he's making Frank Martin work by... Yeah, Staying off the right hook yeah. behind the guard of Davis by Martin. So Martin again throwing many more punches than we expected, but <laughs> there's always that. <laughs> it only yeah. takes one, right? It takes one. And it's incredible how, you know, it does just take one. And the mm -hmm. amount of explosive fight ending single shot counters that Davis has authored in his career is, is incredible. And Harvey. Happened against Ryan Garcia, Rolly Romero, Leo Santa Cruz. You can go on and all. All just single shot counter KOs. And this is what I talk about putting rounds together. Jab, jab, move around from Martin. Yeah, he's doing exactly yeah. what he said he was he, going to do. He's got to do it. And, and this is nothing new for Frank Martin. This is what he actually yeah. does. So it's not like he really invent something for Tank. He really was incredible in that what was supposed to be a 50-50 fight against nice. uh, the then unbeaten Michelle Rivera. He took Rivera to school, the biggest win of his career. Martin, the stock took a little bit of hit his last fight against the unheralded Artem Artunian, but he showed that clutch gene. He made adjustments down the stretch, Absolutely. went to the volume route, and became more aggressive. So again, high IQ, compact, short punches. There's a counter left hand to the body by Tank Davis. Davis missed with the lead left, but avoids the sweeping left from Frank Martin. <laughs> You can just sense that anything can happen in any uh, given moment. Yeah, you, you know Tank. Tank so Davis fighting. Oh, nice counter to the body by Davis. But again, both of them so alert. And there's a lead left hand by Davis. Bounced off the high guard of Martin. And Davis misses. Martin right. comes back. Davis missed there with a sweeping okay. right hook. And you saw how uh, Frank Martin got under him, yeah. turned around, and stopped the whole affair. Now the Little jab through the guard by Martin. The, the question I've got, and, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, is can Martin... Keep it up for 12 rounds? Not just keep it up or get the respect of Tank with a hard shot. And this is the wrestling match that we saw. They talked about in their, their sparring session years ago where Martin allegedly landed a, a left hand on Davis and then it became a wrestling match. So a lot of bad blood between these two, but... A little grappling, not much else as Martin again wanting to keep Tank at bay, utilizing the jab. We're at the end of the room. Watch the hold, Frank. Good round. Still looking good, still looking good. Give me a towel, give me a towel. Looking good. Keep making them work, keep making them work. You're going into the third round. I got you. Every time, run them down, act like a fake, you know what I'm saying? Make them have to keep working, here. How you doing? Yeah, I know, yeah. We're just trying to make your points. Nah. Yeah. The problem's down. Bro. Yeah. You got a little problem. Watch it from the side. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So after two rounds for Gervonta Davis coming off the 14-month layoff, saw some timing issues mm -hmm. with some of the punches and stuff. But again, with the Tank Davis fight, you look at the stats, you look at everything, you can't say it's rust, especially because, again, the strategic patience. But Frank Martin, meanwhile, wants to continue doing this. Punching combination, utilize the jab, stick and move, utilize that fast footwork. And there it is, Martin with a, a little bit of an edge, throwing a lot more jabs, but... Uh, not landing at the same rate of Tank Davis. I like what they told Davis there. Keep working, keep pushing him. And, you know, when he does that, what he wants to do and create is an opening. 
he wants Martin to make a mistake to open up and, you know, land a big shot. Well, that's the whole thing, right? You go into a Tank Davis fight, the key is, well, you got to open up eventually, trying mm -hmm. to beat him, fight, but that's exactly what he wants you to do. Yes. He wants you to open up so he can counter you. And, and I think as well that he wants to tire out Frank Martin by keeping him on guard I, all the time. You wonder if it that'll just, happen with an athlete like Frank Martin. Well, it can. <laughs> with tank on your tail. Uh, you yeah, know, but again, he's never ready. faced an athlete like Frank Martin. No, I, I agree, but there's a lot of mental and strength. And a guy who's really ready mentally and otherwise. I get what you're saying, yeah, but. Yeah, same here. It's only round number three. Yeah, exactly, but, you know. This there's a nice left hand from Davis, lead left hand. Davis is not going to stop at the pressure. I can guarantee he's not going to back up tonight. He's going to keep this pressure up all night. He's beginning to put pressure on. Here in the third round, even more so. And there's a one-two from the south part. And he actually heard him say that he didn't feel Martin had power in the corner after the last round. And of course, Martin with 12 out of 18 wins via knockout, but just not known for the, the fight-altering power that Tank Davis possesses. Pound for pound, one of the heaviest hitters in the sport. And he has Martin now in the corner. He does. And there's the jab, and there's that counter left. Jab to the body by Davis. Oh. Two over the top by Martin. I think Martin would be better served sort of staying in the center of the ring and out of the corners. Yeah, but even then when he was in the corner, that was a great reaction. The punch from Martin right there. I, I agree, but, you know, that can only last right. so long. You, you don't want to keep tempting fate with, Frank, uh, with uh, Tank Davis. The ability for Tank Davis to really just move the millimeters, his defenses, his ability to utilize his ring IQ and his boxing skills. Yes, it's not even so much as an exciting fight. A good combination lands for Martin. It's exciting finishes, but Martin doing what he needs to do here, Martin, making Martin, life rough for Javante Davis. Extremely so, yes. But we knew he was capable of this, and so far I've got him winning the first three rounds. And that's no surprise that's if you follow the career of Tank Davis. And Davis, though, beginning to load in again. Martin able to escape the ropes, so three rounds are in the books. And it's uh, Martin, two to one, outlanding Javante Tank Davis. And this is a perfect example of uh, Javante Davis trying to create an opening. The feint right there. And, and Frank, smart enough, did not open up. He looked scared there, but again, high guard and he turned. Beautiful nice counter punch counter. right there from Martin. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I was talking no, about. No, that was, a, that was a cute corner. little thing, but... Mm -hmm. but, but Martin had his right hand down, and that left hand almost hit him. There, beautiful. Yeah, that was, that was the center of the ring where he got that jab in at the very end of the combo. Now, now the key for Frank Martin is to do that for another nine rounds. <laughs> That's the hard part. Fourth round. Oh, more fast. <laughs> There's a double There's jab, a jab to the guard by Martin, utilizing that footwork. Money line has changed. Good escape by Martin. And again, they Martin's doing all the right stuff. Yes, yes he right. is. A beautiful go, body shot go, by Davis. And of course, you got Martin leading, taking those rounds. And, and again, like you said, Joe, he's doing all the right things. Volume, one, two, three, back to the jab, moving to the side, not giving Davis any oh, any, any moments to get off. Davis. Power punches, huge edge for Martin. And keep Davis up, upset up, with hold. Martin grabbing, holding as the referee. Harvey Gott separates them. The right thing to do, but again, he, can, he can't get in trouble for that. Martin, and Davis continues to walk down the ghost. Again, he's known for low output, high accuracy, explosive counters. 
The left uppercut. Wow, Ben. Martin was a wrestler, <laughs> turning this into a wrestling match. That was definitely a wrestling match. Looking for that uh, level change into what was a, almost a power double attempt. Uh, not the right sport here. Nice lead left lands for Davis. Goes downstairs. That smart attempt to go to the body instead of keep trying to go to the head. You, you know, through Frank Martin, it's very hard to hit to the head. And he landed some solid body shots on Frank Martin. That was an arm punch also. Yeah. Breaking down the arms. Oh, uh, watch your hands, watch your Tank hands. Tank just whistles hands free, those punches. And you know if you get clipped by one of those, you're in trouble. Final minute of the fourth round. And very much going according to what I guess a lot of uh, experts planned that Martin would bank early rounds and then we'd see what would happen in the second half of the fight. Well, Tank even went public on social media, predicted a ninth round knockout of Frank Martin. 30 seconds left and Martin said, hey, watch it. I, I can knock out Tank Davis too, you know. That was a good body shot from, from Davis. Again, you can't get repetitive if, if you're Martin. No way. Davis, Davis That's is reading you. Instantly, he'll respond. Oh, yes. The left hand. Now Davis beginning to open up. The crowd anticipating it. Faint by Martin. Yeah, Martin's throwing that straight left hand and getting countered by the left up to the body for the tank. It's a vicious punch and it's very effective. I need you to keep your hand up, though, Frank. Can you get comfortable? All right? And stay off the rope. All right? You just grab it, back him up a little bit, but on the angle. Stay off the rope. Okay. Keep using your feet. Are you feeling it? Listen, you're not hitting with any of them shots, are you? No. You're not hitting with any of them shots. Listen. Listen. Stay composed on the jab. Listen. Go back to what you were doing earlier. You got out of your shit a little bit there, Red there, those left hands have been landing on that side of the face. So yeah, he's doing a little damage, Frank Martin. He's landed 49 total punches compared to Tank's 32, but as always, Tank landing at a higher accuracy. Under a minute left here in the fifth. Good jab by Frank Martin. Yeah, he's really been using it very well tonight. At the right time, he's timing that jab well. Uppercut, right hook. 
by Davis. The jab to the midsection by Davis on Frank Martin. And oh, the left hand by Davis. A good counter by Martin. Yeah, you, you can't just let Davis get off and, and land him one shot. If he does, you got to come back with your own. Even if it hurt, just to let him know that, you know, I'm still in this. And you're not doing anything to hurt me. And Frank Martin's having a good round again this round. He likes to build the office, and he told us that his biggest asset is his, his foot movement. We've seen that on display, and perhaps his ability to throw those combinations could disrupt Davis's rhythm, and he's banking these rounds just based on... Wow, put. Yeah, and you heard Calvin Ford saying, "Look, we we, we knew he was going to move." Well, of course. I mean, you know, what would you do? Um, so you know, he's just reassuring Tank. Yeah, he's moving now, but you keep the pressure on. You'll get to him eventually. Davis looking to try to keep Martin in front of him, trying to cut off that ring. Martin with the double right, the lead hand going upstairs, downstairs, nice. missing with the sweeping right hook though. Yeah, he tried. He's doing double the right thing. So. This is a dance for Martin. Nice straight left one pops. step ahead. Davis pops Martin. That was a counter over the jab of uh, uh, Martin by Tank, and it was a solid one. But nice oh. lead left hand by Martin. Yeah, he he gets it back, and that's how you get him off rhythm. The best ever connect percentage against Tank Davis was Leo Santa Cruz, but D Davis knocked him out. And now Martin is landing at 29%. So Martin having the best success of any fighter against Tank Davis. But Davis is getting closer yeah. and closer with a minute and a half left in the first half of this 12-round affair. And Tank lands a chopping left hand as he's allowed to walk in uncontested. Well, that's the second session out of that corner, but that was the only one he landed. Frank Martin pulled a nice Houdini out of that corner on that first uh, set of punches that Tank was throwing out. Yeah, Tank definitely not respecting that power for Martin getting in easy. But again, Martin just let out that jab. He's got to get back on the jab. Oh, there's the jab and the left follow-up left from Davis. A rare combination in the early going. A minute left here in the first half of the fight. So and Davis, Davis wearing the markings on his face of the offense of Frank Martin and missing with that left cross. Yeah, Davis told us his favorite and best knockout was the 2020 knockout of the year against Leo Santa Cruz, who he and Esau Cruz were the, the two fighters that really tried to, to pressure Tank in the early going, to try to really bring it to him. And, and again, Martin is doing what Martin set out to do. And, and with 20 seconds left now here in the first half of the fight, you got to believe that based on what we've seen, Martin's got to be ahead on the scorecard just based on the, the output, right, guys? I would not disagree with that, although Tank is having his best round so And far. this is where Tank Davis is going to start to pick it up. We're heading into the second half of the fight. Okay. That, listen, we need all these rounds. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? I like the press game here. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, here we go. Here's Tank. There, the little slip and a little, you know, left hand over the top. And here's uh, Tank again. He fainted the left hand, went to the right uppercut, fainted that, and then landed the third shot, which was the left hand. And here's the jab, straight left. Now Frank Martin rolling and, and, with and that. And notice that is every time that Martin is on that corner, he's right. got to get off. He can't right. stay there. Although he rolled with that last one. Strong, the last one he did. Right? Yeah. Done. But you heard. I got you. Get the bucket. Get the bucket. You, you heard I'm Calvin missing, Ford missing, say, we need all these rounds. So he knows he's. He knows they're behind. Wait, yeah, wait, he knows wait, they're wait, probably wait, behind her. But not by much. And we begin the second half of this championship out a battle of unbeaten. Gervonta Tank Davis defending his 135-pound belt against Frank the Ghost Martin. 
who has uh, stuck to his game plan, has had success with his footwork, the jab, the mobility, but now let's see Tank Davis. This is where he begins to really start his fight. He's in the second half of these fights. And that was great right there from Frank Martin. I know he does not want to open up. He doesn't want to give anything to uh, Davis, but again, he, he has to keep him busy. Oh, there's a left hand to the body and the right by Davis. Martin just avoiding that counter, but now Martin had forced to wrestle, and the referee, Harvey Dock, breaking them up, but Martin doing the veteran thing when Davis is entering what for him is a danger zone. Nice combo by Martin, though. Look, yep. look every time he keeps him busy with the and combinations. And he keeps moving. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to. Here's the thing that Tank Davis is concentrating on. He's looking to count on the left hand with a left uppercut like that or, or a straight left hand. He's Single looking shots. To, yeah. He's, he's looking There's to a double jab left from Davis. Now Davis chopping down on Martin. Martin against the ropes. Trying to use the... The wing block with his left arm. Moves to the center of the ring again. There's the exit. Trying to create the angle. Mm. Oh, wow. Standing in front of Davis like that. High guard, dangerous. Davis misses with the lead left uppercut, but then follows up with another left hand. And Frank Martin forced to retreat on the back foot, but Martin unable to fire back. Yeah, he's getting the pressure more, is building. Yes, he's being more stationary now, Frank Martin. Tank is just walking in, in so comfortable. Keep up, keep up. And Davis has definitely muted the offense of Frank Martin for the first time in this fight. Davis is let, throwing more punches than Frank Martin and really opening up a uh, lead here in terms of total punches connected in this round. It's all Gervonta Tank Davis with just over 30 seconds left in the seventh. In that last session right there, Frank Martin covered up well. Oh, oh counter left from Frank it. Martin that jolted Davis. That's the counter he's been looking for. Neither fighter has ever been down as a pro. Final 15 seconds left in the seventh. It's been Davis's best round in terms of offensive output, just missing with the left, and it's it's on cue. It's round seven. It begins. Alright, here we go. There's that look that Frank missed that left hand. Tank countered with the left uppercut and then the right hook as Frank Martin was off balance. Here's that little run on the ropes right here. That one hit him a little behind the head. He had his hands up. He tried to wrap it around that one too. And I think Frank's going to complain about that. Yeah, right there. Yeah. But that's his fault for turning his head. And it's those body shots that are doing damage. That's right. Well, that is why that. he's becoming more stationary now, Frank Martin. Frank's hands dropped after that yeah, body and shot. Yeah, and it opened up for that great left hand. Exactly. They both landed right there on that one. So for the first time in the fight in round seven, Tank Davis threw over 30 punches. He was 19 of 37 with seven body shots. Martin just 10 of 26 with zero body shots landed. Round number eight. And the jab goes to work for Martin to the body. Yeah, he stopped throwing that. Martin still has a slight advantage in terms of total punches landed, but the gap is closing. And Davis double left hand. Martin's got to stay out of the corners if he, if he wants to stay in this fight. Yeah, stay out of the corners. He needs to be a little bit more busy as he One is punch right there. Down. Yeah. Martin beginning to deliver those oh. combinations of his, but nice. Sharp jab from Davis and another jab countered by Martin. Still, still the rounds like that. That's right. He, look, he's got room to move when he's not in the corner or on the ropes, you know, and that's the safest up, place for him. Up. That was a low blow right on and the And our on unofficial the score, Joe Goosen, has Davis closing the gap on the scorecards. Two minutes left in the eighth. We haven't seen body work from Martin. I want to see that left to the body.
it's incredible that you we keep seeing it ad nauseum. It's you prepare for it, Joe. You try to do what you can. Martin did exactly what he was supposed to do. Still not good enough. And what was working for him earlier didn't work for him late because Tank figured it out and said, I know what I'm going to do. And that's what he did. He landed the uppercut in the left hand. It's, it's Have you ever seen anything like it? Never, ever? never. It's like a replay from every other single fight he's had. Yeah. Loses the first couple of rounds. More than even the yeah. first couple yeah. of times. Yeah, yeah. Well, more in this one. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. He closes the gap and he finishes you. Uh, this is this is going to be something to see this replay. I know we're going to be showing it right here. We go. Here's the corner. Frank should not be in there. We were talking mm. about that. He's just setting himself up for big trouble here. There's the uppercut and there's the left hand. Wow. Uh, Once he stunned him with that uppercut, he was defenseless. He was already halfway out. The left hand just put him completely out. And